Picture this, you're sitting at your desk, staring at your computer screen, your coffee's gone cold, and you haven't touched it in hours. You feel a knot in your stomach, knowing that you have to go back tomorrow. Sound familiar? If so, stick around, because today we're gonna be diving into five telltale signs that it's time to hand in your resignation. And trust me, your future self will thank you for it. Welcome back to the channel where we turn your work from home dreams into a reality. Now let's talk about something we've all faced at some point job dissatisfaction. But here's the million dollar question. When does it cross the line from a rough patch to a clear sign that you need to bounce? That's exactly what we're gonna be tackling today. And let me tell you, I've been there. And you know, it's not just you and me feeling this way. A recent Gallup poll found that a staggering 60% of people reported being emotionally detached at work. That's nearly one in five workers who are absolutely hating their job. So if you're a part of that statistic, stick around. This video might just be the push that you need to change. And remember, quitting isn't giving up. It's often the first step towards something amazing. So if you're feeling stuck, undervalued, or just plain miserable at work, this video is your wake up call. And we're gonna be breaking down the five crystal clear signs that it is time to pack up your cubicle plant and set sail for new horizons. But before we dive in, let's talk about something that often keeps us chained in jobs that we hate, the sunk cost fallacy. Ever caught yourself thinking, I've invested so much time here, I can't leave now? That's the sunk cost fallacy in action. It's this sneaky psychological trap that makes us cling to things just because we've already invested time or money into them. But here's the truth bomb. Those years you've spent, they're gone, whether you stay or whether you go. And the smart move is to look at your current situation and your future prospects, not what you've already invested in. Now, as we go through these five signs, we'll be challenging that sunk cost fallacy thinking because sometimes the bravest thing you can do is let go and move on. And speaking of moving on, I've got something special for those of you who are already ready to take that leap. I've created the 30 day remote job landing challenge and it's basically daily actions for success. And this is a completely free day by day action plan designed to help you break free from that sunk cost mindset and land your dream remote job. And you can check it out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now let's dive into it. By the end of this video, you will not only know if it's time to move on, but you'll also have a roadmap for your next opportunity. So are you ready to potentially change your life? Let's get started with sign number one. Your mental health is taking a nosedive. We're talking about constant stress, anxiety, or even depression related to your job. If you find yourself dreading Mondays like they're the apocalypse, that is a red flag. Now, I'm not talking about the occasional bad day or the stressful product. I mean a persistent gnawing feeling that's affecting your overall well-being. And here's a personal story. Back when I was working my nine to five pharmacy job, I started feeling detached or lonely somehow, possibly because of the pandemic, but also because of the job itself. And it got so bad that I couldn't even enjoy my job even more. And that's when I knew something had to change. Remember, no job is worth sacrificing your mental health. And if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it might be time to consider your options. First of all, constant fatigue, even after a full night's sleep, difficulty concentrating or making decisions, irritability or mood swings that affect your relationships, and physical symptoms like headaches or stomach issues. And remember, this isn't just a short period of time, this is something that's lasted a long time. Now I know what you're thinking, but Shane, I can't just quit my job. And you're right, it's not always that simple. But acknowledging the problem is the first step. So start by talking to a therapist or a counselor if you can. They can help you to develop coping strategies and decide if a job change is the right move for you. So if you've ever felt like this, smash that like button and comment down below. Let's show each other that we're not alone in this. Remember, your mental health is your wealth. So don't let a toxic job rob you of your happiness and well-being. Sign number two is you're not growing or learning. So let's talk about growth or the lack of it. If you feel like you're stuck in a professional rut, it might be time to move on. Think about it. When was the last time you learned a new skill at work? Or when was the last time that you felt challenged in a way that made you excited? If you're struggling to remember, that might be a huge problem. And here are some signs that your job is stunting your growth. You feel like you're on autopilot most days. Your skills are becoming outdated. You're not being offered new responsibilities or projects. Your ideas are consistently ignored or shot down. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. When I first started my online business, I was terrified. But you know what? That fear was a good thing. It meant that I was pushing myself out of my comfort zone and growing. And if you're not feeling a little bit uncomfortable or challenged in your job, you're probably not growing. And I also remember Rilke's quote, the purpose of life is to be defeated by greater and greater things. And in today's fast paced world, standing still is the same as moving backwards. So what can you do? Well, first try talking to your boss about taking on new responsibilities or projects. And if that goes nowhere, it might be time to look for opportunities elsewhere. I'm out. <laughs> Remember, the skills you learn today are a foundation for your success tomorrow. And don't let a stagnant job hold you back from becoming the badass professional that you're meant to be. 
Sign number three is that your values don't align with the company. Now let's get real for a minute. We spend a huge chunk of our lives at work. So if your values and your company's values are like oil and water, that's a problem. Now here's what I mean by misaligned values. The company's ethics make you uncomfortable. You disagree with how employees or customers are treated. The work you do feels meaningless or goes against your beliefs. And the company culture clashes with your personality or lifestyle. For instance, as a pharmacist, I worked in the American healthcare system. And I have many, many problems with how the American healthcare system is ran. I think that it is essentially a business that treats people instead of trying to cure them or prevent the problem from happening in the first place because that's more profitable. And on top of that, to make it even worse, they do it in an incredibly inefficient way. And the more I worked in the American healthcare system, the less I liked it. And that constant internal conflict, well, it's exhausting. And let me tell you, it's not worth the paycheck. So how do you know if your values align? Well, ask yourself these questions. Do you feel proud to tell people where you work? Can you stand behind the company's product? or services? Do you respect leadership and their decisions? Does the company's mission resonate with you? If you're answering no to most of these, it might be time to find a company that shares your values. Remember, life is too short to compromise your integrity for a paycheck. And when you align your work with your values, success and fulfillment often follow. Now, by the way, while I'm going through these, I just want to note here that of course, if you need your paycheck to live, don't quit your job right away, just start looking for other opportunities. Sign number four is you're consistently undervalued or underpaid. So let's talk money and appreciation, two things that should go hand in hand with hard work. If you're busting your butt day in and day out, but your paycheck and thank yous are few and far between, that's a problem. You guys are getting paid? Here are some signs that you're being undervalued. You haven't had a raise in years despite taking on more responsibilities. Your salary is below the market rate for your position and experience. Your ideas and contributions are ignored or claimed by others. Or you're passed over for promotions in favor of less qualified colleagues. Talk about demoralizing. But here's the thing. Your skills and time have value. And if your current job isn't recognizing that value, someone else will. So what can you do? First, do your research. Know your worth in the job market. Sites like Glassdoor and Payscale can give you a good idea of what you should be earning. Then have an honest conversation with your boss. Present your accomplishments to them and ask for what you deserve. And if that goes nowhere, it might be time to dust off that resume. Remember, you're not just trading your time for money, you're investing your skills, creativity, and energy. Make sure you're getting a fair return for that investment. And sign number five is you've lost all passion and motivation, or rather the complete lack of it. If the thought of your job makes you feel nothing but a soul-crushing <laughs> meh, it's time to reassess. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy, it's that I just don't care. Here are some signs your passion has left the building. You've struggled to get out of bed every morning. You're constantly watching the clock, waiting for the day to end. You've stopped caring about the quality of your work. You can't remember the last time you felt excited about a project, but here's the good news. This feeling can be a kick in the pants that you need to make a change. It's your inner voice saying, hey, you're meant for more than this. So what can you do if you've lost your mojo? Well, first, try to pinpoint when and why you lost your passion. Was it a specific event, a gradual decline? Understanding the root cause can help you figure out your next move. Next, think about what excites you. What kind of work makes you lose track of time? That's a clue to what you should be doing. And remember, it's never too late to pivot. So if you're feeling stuck, I've got two exciting options for you to consider. First, there's digital marketing. Take Kenneth, for example. He went from being a bank teller to a thriving digital marketer, all thanks to the in-demand career of digital marketing. And Kenneth basically stumbled upon a course by this guy named Seth Jared Himes. And after seven months of dedicated learning, he landed his first job at 60K per year. And now he's making nearly six figures per year. And by the way, there's a free training that goes over exactly what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing jobs, and whether or not it's a good fit for you and your personality, which you can check out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Another path that you could consider is making YouTube content. Now, this is something where obviously you would not want to quit your job right away because it does take some time to grow on YouTube. YouTube. And I've basically shown my journey from struggling creator to six figure earner in my free guide from beginner to six figure creator. And again, this is completely free. I give away all the good stuff for free. And I also do coaching if you want to learn faster and get my personalized feedback. But go ahead and check the description and the pinned comment below if that's something you're interested in doing. And your future self will thank you for taking action today. And who knows, your passion project could be your next career move. So don't be afraid to take that leap. Now, by the way, if you don't know what your dream career might be, I actually made an entire video where I tell people step-by-step -step exactly how to find their dream career. And you can check that out by clicking right here.